The A122BH Rockwood A-frame here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, if you'd like to see if we have one in stock and available, all you need to do is visit the link in the video description or call our team. We clearly publish pricing and we do not engage in the practice of hidden dealer fees. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of sweep through and do a three-parter here to show you first the A122BH and then uh, we're really going to actually kind of give you an overview of the entire A122 family including the A122S with the storage trunk and then the A122TH which is the sports package with the front toy hauler deck. They have the same footprint so what makes the BH stand out? After I kind of point that out we're going to look into how they're constructed and then we're going to see how they go up and down. So. The, there's two significant differences, and really there's only two significant differences, but they're very significant between the A122BH that we're looking at and the A122S with the storage trunk. Obviously, the storage trunk is not here. Instead, we have the BH, which is not a bunkhouse, but a bike hauler. That's the best description I can kind of come up with for this thing. It's not a full toy hauler front deck. It's just made for a couple bikes or open cargo, big cargo. Now, what's kind of cool is uh, the, this front rack right here, you see, can actually be totally removed. It's a little tricky to do with one hand, and I'm not left-handed, so we're not going to even attempt it. But uh, you can put cargo on the front of that. You can see that you've got the open eyelets on the, uh, the rack around so you can strap bikes down to it. And it also includes a very toy hauler-like toy lock system. What that does is it lets, uh, it's like an aircraft cable thing where someone's going to have to go way out of their way to try to steal your stuff, like your bicycles or whatever, you know. Um, now, these are as much of a fold-down travel trailer as they are a pop-up camper. I talk about that all the time. Narrow body, easy towing, seven wide, and when they fold down, you don't get a lot of wicked uh, headwinds. Um, the uh, 122BH, it only weighs 55 pounds more than the A122S. This comes in at 2,215 pounds. But uh, what they've done is, instead of the front storage truck, you know, this open deck, that weighs less. But the dormer, the flip up right here, that weighs a little bit more. So this does come in 5,500 pounds heavier. But since all that extra weight is on the roof that has to be lifted to open and close it, this, like the high wall A-frames, actually comes with a power roof lift system. Pretty much the same one, in fact. So, uh... Those are really the only two significant differences between them. When we're on the back half of the camper from the apex of the A-frame down and back, they're the same camper. Now the A122S has the new Pro Rack system on the front wall, which allows you to, uh, you know, put a bike rack on there. Or you can, this one, you just don't even have to monkey with it, and they're down lower where it's easier to get to. Um, when we step inside, you'll see at a very quick glance, they're the exact same floor plan. So we've got a front dinette, we've got a rear bed, but the dormer gives you so much more sense of negative space. We pick up uh, a window up front instead of a pair of skylights, um, and you, you've, you, like, you can basically stand inside of that dormer area without bumping your head on anything, as compared to the A122S where you're going to slide into the booth, but you're, you do have room for four people uh, with the little head bubble area. I do like that front window, and it does open for ventilation. The other neat thing on the dormer is you actually pick up an additional overhead light, so you do get a little bit more lighting in here, probably because it is so compartmentalized. But from the kitchen back, Everything here is the same. Nothing really changes drastically there. Heated mattress, that big skylight in the back, and it does have a shade back there for privacy. One of the things people ask all the time, too, and I'll probably end up repeating myself through several segments of these videos, because I never record anything the same way twice, is that's a little um, clothes rack, clothing rack, basically, a little curtain hangers, or uh, clothes rod hangers, what that is. Um, so, again... It, not much different from the A122S. Let me close this door because the sunlight's killing us here. There we go. Got our microwave, TV hookups, all that good stuff down there. Again, more of the, the specifics I'll cover in the construction video. But I wanted to give you just a brief overview of what does this look like. Then we'll do a 1-2-3 comparison and talk about how they're constructed. So if you have any questions, again, all you need to do is call our team here at Haylet RV. 800-256-5196. Um, you can uh, visit the Haylet RV website. Give our guys a call. Remember, we publish everything. We're simple, fun, easy to deal with. So take care. Stay safe, have fun, happy camping, and construction's coming up now. Okay. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV, and I want to show you how these A-frames go up and down. It's actually kind of a lickety-split thing. The first thing you want to do is you start by unlatching the door, because this is a bi-section door, and obviously the door has to go down with the wall. 
Now, if you step in here with me, thanks to the assistance of Mr. Uh, Big Scott McKinney, our cameraman today. This is one of the big tricks with these. This is the first one you should unlatch, and it's the last one you should latch. Because if you put this uh, wall down or the other wall down, unless you got long arms like mine, you can't reach this thing. So you got to do this one first and last. Then you start working your way around the coach, and you just do it the opposite order on the way through. So we're going to move over here now to this one. And at this point, nothing's coming down at us. But after this, every one that we unlatch is going to start coming down. So you folks are going to start backing out of the camper. But you're going to notice this is all lightweight, aluminum framed. It is easy to manage. It's not hard to juggle. So you're going to set this one down right here. The pads keep everything from getting dug up. And there's always a funny point when I'm standing in here showing this to a customer. And they're like, all right, smart guy, how do you get out of the camper? Well, you actually kind of sneak out of the door. We're going to close our little pocket door here. Hold on to this part of the door, unlatch this, and we just duck and slide right out of it. Just like that, lickety split. So we're going to hop out. Make sure you close the door behind you, otherwise the door is going to be on the wrong side of the fold. And really, it's just as easy as flip it and flop it. That's all there is to it. Latch them down, you're all done. Easy peasy. Now there are some that do have a power lift. The process is all the same in how you put the interior walls down. Just instead of pushing up on it and letting it fold itself, you stand here and push a button for 30 seconds and let it close itself. That's all there is to it. If you have questions, you give our team here at Halid RV a call, 800-256-5196. Largest independent standalone dealer in the state of Michigan, guys. We're also one of the largest pop-up dealers in the state of Michigan. I don't think that's a coincidence. Give us a call, we'll get you camping. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. You ever see that show, How It's Made? This is going to be Rockwood A-Frames here at Halid RV, how it's made. So the thing that I like the most about Rockwood A-Frames is that they're very consistent. They're constructed the same way across the entire family. And that doesn't just apply to the A-Frames. It applies also to their travel trailers and their fifth wheels. Rockwood builds everything one way, the same way, every single time. And it's that consistency that helps lead to a lot of their quality here. So you've got all aluminum framework. The only part of this that's not laminated is actually the floor. But this is the same floor system that they've used uh, for years. And it's literally the floor system used in the number one selling family of uh, fold down campers. So whether it's tent campers, A-frames, Rockwood is literally the number one. They sell 50% A-frames and 50% tent campers. And that pretty much mirrors our numbers that we see here at Halid RV. They're both very desirable. They both appeal to very different people. Now, other than the, the ones with the dormer, and an A-frame without the flip-up front dormer. They come with the Pro Rack bike rack up there. So that's a new addition at the time of this filming. That wasn't there last year's standard. It is now. It gives you just the easiest way to put your bicycles on there. I do recommend you take the bikes off before you raise and lower the roof, just so it's easier to manage. Um, they, uh, they are all solar prep. They have a little plug on the front for quick solar prep. Six gallon uh, auto ignition gas water heater. It's a six gallon vessel, but it'll give you 11 gallons of recharge per hour. They all have a propane furnace standard. They all have a three way refrigerator standard. That uh, is uh, 12 volt powered or 110 park power or um, prop or, yeah, propane power. So you get three outlets there. They all have an outside shower that does connect to the water heater, so you do have hot and cold water service. They do not have a gray tank. They do not have a black tank in the A122 family, at least. There are specific um, bathroom floor plans that have their own cassette tank. The, the specs for that will be in each individual listing. But this is a straight pipe right off the, the, uh, the sink, so you do need one of those little blue tote tanks to go with this. They have independent torsion suspension. Each wheel has independent movement. They don't, the axle doesn't rock back and forth. The back of this, that's our cool cat heat pump. It's an electric um, bi-directional heat pump. It can either be an electric air conditioner or an electric uh, um, heater. So you can kind of choose which way you want it to go. Now the rear pocket of storage out here through the A122 family, uh, they make the storage come to you and that's something Rockwood's been good about for years. Now these struts right here, these are high wind assist struts. So if you're putting this up and down in really windy situations, which they don't recommend, that'll help with that quite a bit. Um, the uh, uh, BH right here has this front, uh, you know, bike holding 
rack. It's it's kind of the the evolution into the full toy hauler here. But the construction's the same. The only thing you have different here is the dormer. But what I like is it's still all aluminum framed, all laminated, all hard sided. There's still no canvas being introduced to these. I don't understand the idea. Uh, I see sometimes uh, I've seen a frame manufacturers who have a dormer but they have canvas sided dormers. It doesn't make sense. Now, when you get to anything with a dormer, any, any flip up or the high wall uh, Rockwood hard side campers here at Halet RV, then you're going to get the power lift uh, because it's either too tall or too heavy to reasonably expect somebody to wrestle with it. So they kick over there. Now, all of these have four corner power stabilizer jacks. They all have very travel trailer like um, dual propane tank systems with automatic changeover regulators. On the uh, the power tongue jacks are optional on these. Uh, we have seen our customers pretty much, you know, a, a very very obvious statistical demand that the the regular A frames here. They're like we we don't need a power tongue jack on that. And if you do, guys, if you're the person that wants them, we have them back in the parts and service center here at Haylet RV. No big deal. They're an easy swap. Um, but your high wall models, those are the folks who go, yeah, I want everything. I'm not trying to stay small and reasonable. I want it all. Now, your colors may be different, but your construction's exactly the same here when you get into the ESP uh, Sport Series. All of your uh, Rockwoods all have LED lighting, both your markers and your taillights. Like you look at the taillights and you're like, oh yeah, I can I can understand it's LED. But these marker lights look traditional, but they are LED elements inside there. Um, they all come with a grill. They all have a nice little uh, porta potty that uh, in the A122 family, at least. Uh, again, the models that have their own toilet have their own toilet. No need for that. Um, so the grill, the little side work table, you know, that's all included. The When you go to the uh, ESP series and you get the bigger tires, they go to a double step so that it's easier to get up and down. And I think that's a really smart decision that they put on there. Um, the Anything with a front metal deck has a toy lock security system so that you can keep your bicycles and stuff ready there and waiting for you. Um, they all have four corner stabilizer jacks. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm kind of, this is not my normal way of doing things, but I so rarely get a chance to put three things like this side to side to side, head to head to head, as it were, and uh, to go through them. Um, what I like about their storage trunk, a lot of brands have a separate uh, add-on storage trunk. It's all integrated. This is purpose-built. It's all laminated together. So there's no like seams where water can get between the trunk and the box and cause mold and mildew. That drives me nuts. So when you step in here, just a couple things to point out. That's our, that's that heat pump I was telling you about. Now they all have a flush-mounted stove top so that uh, you get a little more prep space, and they all include standard to sink cover. So once again, we have some usable, functional prep space. All LED lighting inside. You've got night privacy shades to both block out hot sun and to give you privacy at night when you're sleeping. You'll notice those skylights and your windows are very dark from the outside, but you can't see into them. Uh, but at night, some of that goes away, so they still give you the privacy shades. They all have plenty of windows for open ventilation. They all include the 12 volt max air uh, fan here. So whether you're boondocking or you are park camping, you can fire that up and give yourself some great airflow in here. They all have uh, some form of like floating table you can move around that can fold down into a sleeper. You can take that outside if you need picnic type setups. And they waste nothing. They're storage below every single area they can. Um, that pretty much should give you an idea how these are put together. Oh, little TV hookups, microwave. I've always kind of referred to these as a fold down travel trailer as much as a pop up camper. And uh, stay tuned with us because uh, if I can get someone to follow me around, we're going to uh, show you how one of these go up and down. I just got to go get myself a huckleberry. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, ha happy camping everyone, and here's how they go up and down.